So you want to get your rear heater core out of your Trailblazer or Envoy EXT. And it's a real bear. If you're lucky, you have the fittings that you just unscrew and pop off. If you're unlucky, you have these kind. These are quick disconnects that are not your normal GM quick disconnects that are removed with the sleeve where you slide it around your fitting and you push down and it pops a spring out and they just pop right out. This is not that type of fitting. What you have here is some tabs, as you can see, that lock in to these slots. And what you have to do is kind of push up. Looks like pushing up doesn't really do too much, but it might help to get that rotated. There's, there might be some loose dirt in there that you're gonna have to get out in order for this to work. But here's how they work. What you have is you've got these tabs here that need to be pushed together and then you have to pull. And what I did, I couldn't find a, anyone that sold a tool. I bought the wrong tool at the hardware store. And so I'm just gonna show you what I did. So once you have your piece of wire cut, all you're gonna do is wrap it around your fittings. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll show you the result. Okay, here it is with the wire on the fitting. And then the next step is you're simply, and it actually just that itself, kind of squoze those pretty good. And then you're just going to twist like that. Keep going in the same direction. And as you twist, it's gonna tighten those up. I can actually see it tightening right now. Give it a couple twists and twist it until as you pull down, that pops off. Now I had to remove this heater core to get my rear evaporator out and doing some AC work on it. And hopefully you can see from the side there, try to get focus with my light on. Kind of hard to do. Let me see if I can turn the flash off. Okay, with the flash up, maybe you can see that a little bit better, but you can see how tightly that's come together. And actually, it slipped a little bit, it looks like, as I was tightening it. You probably won't have that problem when it's actually connected because the quick disconnect fitting is going to be um, in, in the place there. But you can see how much that's pulled it out so that that can be taken out. So there's your quick, cheap way to get this done. Uh, it only took me a few hours to figure this out. And after I did the first one and had immediate results, I did the second one and it came off very easily. I wasn't sure I was gonna get the larger of the fittings out, but here you can see that doing this worked really well. So hopefully that helps you out as you're trying to get your these fittings out of your non-bolt-on heater hose connectors for your rear, rear heater core on your Trailblazer or Envoy.